This video provides an introduction to global coherence, focusing on argument structure. I'll discuss argumentation structure and then provide an example to highlight the different argumentation components that may come up in the overall context of a text passage. So far in this module, we've covered coherence relations, entity salience, and topical salience. These are all great ways to analyze and measure coherence, but they target coherence at the local level between individual sentences. It is important to analyze discourse coherence at the global level as well. For example, good stories should have an overall narrative structure, persuasive essays should follow specific argument structures, and scientific papers are usually characterized by discourse structures common to research publications, for example, with an introduction, a related work section, a methods section, and so forth. An area of global coherence that has received particularly strong attention is argumentation structure. Specifically, an active research problem is argumentation mining, in which texts are computationally screened for different elements of rhetorical strategy. At a high level, these rhetorical elements correspond to claims and premises. Claims are the central, controversial component of an argument. For example, I might say something like, purple is the coolest color for a face mask, which someone could easily argue is wrong and that green is really the coolest face mask color. Premises either attack or provide support for a given claim. In more concrete terms, let's say that we have the text passage here where I'm doing a little bit of promotion for my class next semester. If you are a grad student and you've enjoyed CS421, you may wanna sign up for CS521. So we have the text, CS521 is the best class at UIC. It covers a very exciting topic, natural language processing. It also offers both the structure of a lecture-based class and the flexibility of a seminar course. This mix is nice because you can learn fundamental principles, but also get up to speed on contemporary research. So there's clearly a central controversial claim in this text passage, which is that CS521 is the best class at UIC. Many of you are probably thinking, obviously, no, the best class is CS421. So this is definitely something that could be argued against or supported. There is also a premise supporting the claim here. So this is text providing supporting evidence for what the claim says. Now, there's also a second premise here, which provides persuasive supporting evidence for the first premise. So we have one claim, one premise supporting that claim, and then one premise supporting that premise. Detecting argumentation structure is an active area of NLP research. Recently, it has generally been done using classifiers to identify spans of text corresponding to claims, premises, and non-argumentation. There are also models that examine more specific forms of argumentation. For example, identifying arguments based on examples versus cause and effect versus consequences and so forth. And some work has been done to study how different aspects of argumentation structure impact an argument's success. We can even apply argumentation mining to writing that doesn't seem like a traditional persuasive essay. For instance, if you think about it, scientific papers argue points or make knowledge claims as well, although the discourse tends to be structured a bit differently. They indicate a scientific goal, develop a method for reaching that goal, provide evidence that they have achieved the goal, and compare their solution to prior work. In fact, Modeling scientific discourse is another very active research problem within NLP.